What is up guys, Ruluk here and we are back in Minecraft and in the last episode Got that out of the way in the last episode we made our tunnel system and in between it after the video I went ahead and started decorating it a bit. So as you can see I put a couple of uh, polished basalt or I think that's a uh, Yeah, I think it's polished and then we got normal basalt, a couple of chains. We got a black stone wall and the uh, the other blackstone, I forgot what it's called. And then just a couple of netherites uh, with fire on it. So yeah, you can see some netherite in the back. And on the roof, you can see the the lighting is just glowstones. A couple of these torches to scare off any piglins that might be in here. But today, what we're gonna be building is our gold farm, or at least prepping for it. I think we might have everything for it, so yeah. Uh, we have very limited gold, as you can see. We have about, let's see, let's see, 12, about a stack, two bl more blocks, and five ingots. So we're gonna need a lot more gold. And yeah, we're gonna have to get that gold farm running. So what are we gonna need? We're gonna need our obsidian with flint and steel so we can activate it. We're gonna need ender pearls. Let's take a couple just in case. We're gonna need, let's take this so we can hold stuff in it. We're gonna need this nether rack. We're gonna need a lot of things, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need a lot of, a fire okay we're gonna need chests that's for sure let's take some lights blackstone not really nether rack you could but we're gonna use the the magma blocks here we're gonna use crimson trap doors so just like that we can make a couple of there i think another stack should be fine just like that i think it should be enough just in case let's make another one can never have too many okay so like that this is blue okay so we got this many we got four stacks perfect we're gonna need what else let's see let's see let's see some things are outside I know that much yeah and here we only needed ender pearls we can take these sticks right here and this let's make a ladder Okay, I thought we needed planks, but we don't. so let's put these back in here. Let's put these in here like that, and let's take. Hmm. Can we make? No, we can't. We need more glowstone. I think I got some over there. So let's go check out the overworld and go grab the rest of the material we need. All right, so here we are on our nether tunnel or highway. So we should be clear. Hopefully there's no spawns. I'm gonna have to fix those spawns somehow. And what we gotta do is make it to the other portal, but not go through it. Cause remember that we were on that nice little basalt island. That's where we're gonna put our farm. But right above the nether roof. So let's see, don't wanna go through. Okay. So here, we're just gonna climb up here. And then we gotta make it to the top of the nether roof. So we're gonna have to climb up. Let's see. Or we might be able to fly up there. Hopefully find something. Oh. Things are mad. Things are very mad. Okay. Uh, I think we can fly up there. We gotta try to find a landing area. Okay, do I have it? Yeah, okay. Just in case. Alright, so we gotta be careful with this. I might actually use this just in case if we fall into lava we won't die at least not for the next three minutes so let's see if we can land somewhere I think up there maybe what's over here uh, this might just be good enough nope okay so we gotta try to I think over there in that glowstone and we gotta be in the nether wasteland. Let's see. Nether waste, yeah. So right over here. See right here? Nope. 
Oh god. I was falling. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we made it. Okay. So now we're here, we dig up. And we're gonna make sure there's no lava first. So let's go nice and slow. We're gonna need some of this nether wreck so that way we can scaffold up and down the farm. Let's go ahead and turn over here. And let's turn over here. Okay, so here's the bedrock. So now we gotta find, I think it's 250, no in height, 256 I think was fine. So let's see. We gotta find the perfect spot. We just gotta find one little hole that goes a little extra up. Because we gotta be be able to go through it. So if there's two blocks, we can't go through it. Okay, I don't think over there anything. Uh, do we have any lighting? Yes, we do. Let's put this over here. We're hoping we don't die. As always. Uh, let's see. Should be able to find somewhere. Right there, actually, might be just what we need. So let's grab our Ender Pearl. Let's teleport up here. And now here we're at two f 125, yeah. So here we should be able to put our ladder. We gotta go back down. Alright, uh, let's grab our ladder, which should be, I think, over here. Let's take this away. Ah, oh, crap, I can't hold it. Uh, like that. Alright, so let's grab this. Let's grab our ladder. Let's grab this again. And when we're up there, we're gonna have to put another... Another portal, so that way we can get back down. Alright, so right there. So in theory, if we go ahead and go up and move forward, we should be should be able to move up. Nope, nope. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. So this is where our spawn part. I thought we were dead. Uh, let's see. Let's put one lighting source here, just so we know that this is where we started. And here we are indeed in the nether waste. So let's see. Yeah, all of this area is nether waste. Perfect. So that way we can put the magma blocks and we don't have magma cubes annoying our spawn rates. And as you can see, the only thing that spawns up here are mushrooms. So yeah, now we got to build up to the roof of the, the, the build limit. So that way, let's go up here. Let's go from here. All the way up. So I'll catch you in just a bit as soon as we reach the top. Alright, so here we are at the top. As you can see, I had to use some glass because I didn't have enough blocks. So we're at 255. Well, 256. So from here, we want to go down one. And that way here, we can put a trap door. That way it's non-spawnable. And this is going to be our platform where we can AFK at overnight. And see how these spawns are. So let's... Go ahead and make ourselves a nice little comfortable platform where we can fly up. Like that. Maybe one more. Since we have so many trap doors and I didn't bring any building materials. So that was smart of me. Uh, let's go right here. Like that. And like that. So now here we can put some lighting. So that way we know... Oh yeah, we're at height limit. Uh, let's build one. Uh, let's go over here. And we can put one right here. Come on, let me place it. Alright, so we're gonna have to figure this one out. Uh, let's just put this like that. And now we know that this is our platform to AFK at. So let's head down, make sure we have our elytra. Yes, we do. And soon we're gonna have to destroy all of this tower. But for now, it's fine. Let's head down safely. 
and let's start placing down our portal so let's grab this we're gonna need that we're gonna need this right here and hopefully this can connect to our portal that's in the overworld or at least near it so we don't override it so let's see I think like that this can be just a normal one doesn't have to be anything special let's light it and good luck let's see okay so we're definitely not near it but we are in the snow biome so that means we have our little tiny base that we made just last episode or two episodes ago we just got to find the ice spike biome and we should be clear to go but yeah this is going to be our entrance to the rooftop oh, and those are zombies so let's fly around we're gonna have to see where the ice spike starts so that way we know in which direction to go all right there we go And there we are. Okay, we're at the rooftop. So now we can start building our platforms. So what we want to do is head back up. And then we want to go at least 24 blocks low. Lower than that platform. That way when we AFK at it, things will keep spawning on top of the platform. So let's see. Okay. I'm going to have to find a good way to turn around. There we go. Perfect. All right, so here, let's take this out. And then from up here, we want to go 24. So 255, that's one, two, three. And 24. So this would be the 24th block. And I left our magma blocks at the bottom, so perfect. Uh, we're gonna have to move one lower and now we're gonna have to go back down so now here we want to go a three by three opening so that way we go like this this would be two so we go move over here like that one space from that one then we move to the left and right here so that way this is a three by three so one, two, three, one, two, three, perfect. And uh, I think we're gonna be moving 10 outward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we're gonna do that on all the other three sides and I'll be right back. All right, so now we got all four sides covered. So now we're gonna move one back like that. And then we're just gonna fill up all of this straight towards the other side. So what we're gonna do is like this, fill it in. Like that. And then another one down, another one down. So right here. And all the way to the second one. That way we're going diagonally with that one. Just like that. Perfect. And like that. So we're just going to go around this whole entire thing, filling it up like that. And I'll be right back again. All right, so now we have all of this covered. So now what we're going to do is head up about one two and three blocks so that way they have a three block height so that way the piglins can move around and we're gonna do the same thing but with glass so that way no gas spawn because that's the last thing we want over here is for a gas to blow up our entire farm and we have to make it all all over again so i'm gonna go ahead and surround this same pattern as the one at the bottom and i'll be right back all right, so now that we got our glass set up, now what we want to do is put down our turtle egg 
right on the top one so this would be one block on this floor where they're gonna be at and you want them to be at basically uh, eye height so go ahead and put down a couple of trap doors down here as well it'll make your life easier since we're gonna be putting more turtle eggs at the bottom we're gonna make sure all of them are safe so yeah you're gonna burn yourself just a bit every time you want to close one of these but that's all right just a little bit of burning that's it now here's where we're gonna be have a problem down here so you want to put a place where we can land so as soon as we take this block out and this one I think that's where the next egg is gonna be so let's close this so now our egg should be safe and now anything that spawns right here is just gonna go and attack the eggs since I don't know why the zombies just like attacking eggs so yeah let's head down here and same thing we want to have a three block height for the next platform let's go like that two and then the next one and then another one so we're gonna have to close this one let's close this one as well let's head down there so this would be a third one and then we'll have more magma blocks right there and then we'll follow the same thing and we gotta also put the top over there so just give me a second let me fly around so just like that perfect so now here what you want to do is basically place down your trap doors you can place them anywhere you want or you can just leave it like this because they're gonna think that this is a block they can jump on to attack this so I stand corrected and you can leave that alone no need to put these down so let's head back down here let's close this one like that like that so this is where the other one is gonna be the other egg is on top okay perfect so here we want to put another glass let's put the turtle egg let's put the fireworks back in case we fall and let's close these up so now we're gonna do the same thing we did on top we're gonna do it about I think until the magma block runs out so I think maybe two or three more maybe so yeah let me do that and I'll be right back as soon as that is done all right so here we are I think we made about five blocks maybe and we can already see it's working so yeah we're about uh, 30 blocks from the bottom of this one just wanted to go a little extra to be sure so now what we're gonna do is build our platform where these guys are all gonna drop and die and we're gonna need a lot of hoppers and a lot of chests and we're probably gonna send it all the way to the bottom so what we're gonna do is every one of these crystals or glass we're gonna put a hopper and then we're gonna go ahead and mix them up a bit so we're gonna go left and right with hopper and chest since we have so many and we'll start from I guess here and here we'll just have to well let's see first let's do the rest uh hoppers we have them over here let's put this in there let's take these just in case there we go hoppers and chests so i'm guessing this is going to give us a lot of gold and other stuff so we're going to need a lot of chests so yeah uh let's let's go right into I need a platform let's see if I do this and then here we can go ahead and put a chest just a single chest that'll go into here then this one will go like that 
and then we'll just keep on going like that so this one's gonna go into this one this will go here this one will go into this one we'll put another chest right here like that and so on and so forth so here again like that and then we'll keep doing that but first let's go back up here so I need my rockets let's see let's see I think I did yeah four so we did four of the layers as you can see they're right there they're going for the turtle egg right there and they're all dropping down to their deaths Ooh, okay so from here we need that like that like that perfect so now we're gonna go around the whole entire thing and then we'll put trap doors on top so that way it's nice and flat I don't know if they're spawnable the hoppers I'm not actually sure but just in case they are that should remove it so let's grab our duh, 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 duh. it's not here so let's grab this oh crap <laughs> all of our sources are going into it uh, okay so our trap doors let's go like that Hopefully we should have a large amount of gold coming in, or gold ingots at least. And then we'll turn those into, well, golden nuggets, my bad. Gold nuggets, and then with that we'll turn it into gold ingots. So now, let's see. We gotta land over here. Let's get some distance. Oh crap. Oh, I made it. Oh, I'm right on the border. Oh, that's scary. All right, so now we move over here. We can take this out, this out. So much death. Let's see what's dropping. Yeah, we're already getting our, our nuggets in here. We're gonna start getting some of our shark shulker box stuff. Some rotten flesh. We'll probably get some golden swords here and there. But yeah, the farm is basically working already. So now let's go like that. Take that out. Let's put a chest. And then we can just keep going with this. So let me go ahead and put a base that we can step on. Come on. Okay, that works. We'll do that. We'll do this. And then here, we'll pick that out. We'll put our chest down, chest down, and then our hopper. So we're just going to keep doing that until we reach the bottom, and I'll be right back. Alright, so the farm is now officially finished. As you can see, well, basically all red, but as you can see, we have all four layers. They're all spawning. Everything is dying as soon as it lands right there. This reaches almost to the ground. We dropped off right around here so I just had to improvise a bit and make a glass ladder so that way nothing can spawn I covered the obsidian because I don't know if uh, I think a, a gas spawned so I don't know where from but it came from the bottom so I'm guessing it was right there so right now what we have uh, we had 48 uh, rotten flesh so we're just gonna stand up there for a while and see how much uh, golden nuggets we can get so cleared out nothing in there so I'm gonna go ahead and AFK up there and I'll be right back in just a bit all right so it's been about 25 to 30 minutes as we can see we already have a magma cube right there so yeah it's not the perfect one so we should probably put some iron golems on the side so that way they get distracted and fall off and that way they don't mess up our spawn rates but let's go and check out how much we got. Mainly in gold is what we want. So let's see. Any day now. Here we go. So we got about... Let's see. Get rid of all of this. Okay, so I thought we were going to get swords and all that. But apparently we haven't. So we have... Let's see. 
about four, five. This would be nine, 10, 11, 12 stacks. Almost 13 stacks total. Oh wait, I got one in here. Or that's probably one that I got from before. So we got 13 stacks total. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, let me go ahead and put uh, this down. And let's grab a green shulker. We got a little magma cube right there. Let's put all of our gold in our inventory. So that way we can make all the ingots. So let's see. This is not a bad farm actually. Let's see how many. One stack. Stack and a half about, just about. Which gives us about 11 gold uh, blocks of gold. So if we could probably get rid of these uh, little magma cubes that spawn sometimes, we could probably get our XP a little bit better. So more gold, more everything. Let's see if we can take that guy out. And yeah, so it's a perfectly functional farm. From down here, it's probably not gonna work completely well because we're still spawning things under the nether uh, roof. So yeah, uh, make sure that if you guys like the video, if you like the farm, go ahead and give it a like down below. Make sure you comment as well, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.